Botox is part of a class of drugs called neuromodulators, meaning that it modulates or changes the way that the nerve signal affects a muscle. We have wrinkles in our face for two different reasons. One is that we're losing fat and bone or volume in our face. And the other kind of wrinkles are caused by muscle movement. There's three areas that everybody re mostly associates with Botox use that really work well for everybody. Frown lines between your brows, the forehead lines or crow's feet, sometimes called smile lines. The areas that you can use Botox in in the lower face are um, there's something called a gummy smile so that if you smile really big, your gums, a lot of gums show and that's fixed really, really easily with Botox. A smoker's lines. People tell me, oh, I was never a smoker and I'm getting smoker's lines. We all get them whether you're a smoker or not. Uh, another place that you can use it is in a muscle called the depressor angularis oris. Some people will get a really wrinkly chin. We call it orange or peel of the orange. Grinding your teeth, waking up with headaches, having recessed gums or breaking your teeth because you clench so hard or getting chronic headaches from it. This is fantastic. It's life changing. And the last area to really use Botox in the face and neck area is sometimes people start to develop really strong lines in here in their neck. Those are called platysmal bands and Botox is great for those.